Hello, you are watching Good Morning Austin. We are your hosts, Madison and Alexa. Today, we're excited to talk about Paper Score, the first decentralized academic journal. With us is Dr. Coletti, inventor and founder. Welcome, doctor. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, there are so many academic journals out there today, more and more of them operating online. So why do you think Paper Score is gaining so much traction? Actually, most of those journals rely on human editors to control the publication process. But Paper Score is replacing editors with computer codes. So are you saying you use artificial intelligence to review the papers? <laughs> no, not at this point. Actually, it is more of collective intelligence as human reviewers still play a key role in the process. So how does paper score make acceptance and rejection decisions without editors? Good question. It doesn't. Instead of accepting or rejecting papers, paper score gives each paper rating scores on four dimensions. Okay, see, that is brilliant. Thank you. Well, it seems to me like the modus operandi of these typical journal editors really reflects the limitations of a dualistic human mind that seeks to judge reality based on a binary category system, either or. I think that's how our mind functions most of the time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who wins, who loses, who's on top, who's at the bottom. Who gets published, who gets rejected. Exactly. Now, as far as I know, these journal editors, they usually select the reviewers and have the final say when it comes to the acceptance rejection decision. Which gives them quite a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like all humans, editors can be biased. Now, I know about publication bias. What other biases may come into play? There are all sorts of biases that can affect editors. Confirmation bias, hindsight bias, halo effect, just to name a few. As well as false consensus effect, anchoring effect. Exactly. And many of these biases are built into the system. Just think about it. Editors of a journal are almost always selected from among those who have already published in that journal. Well, it just seems like a, a circular mechanism that just reinforces itself. See, I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as a result, traditional journals are susceptible to both types of errors rejecting valuable studies and approving flawed ones, which can be misleading in many cases. So journals compete with one another. Well, what exactly do they compete on? Uh, they usually focus on impact factors. So they try to attract citations from other similar journals. And therefore, they favor studies that have surprising findings or introduce new research methods. But even those papers that are not cited in academia may still be very valuable in practice and in industry, right? Absolutely. See, I think paper score is going to start to become home to thousands of valuable studies that just don't quite fit into traditional journals. I hope so. Now, you mentioned that inclusivity and diversity are among your core values. So do you mean diversity in the sense of characteristics like race and gender? Actually, our commitment to diversity goes beyond race, gender, and other social identifiers. We try to pave the way for new and diverse ideas and theories and paradigms to emerge and compete on a level playing field. That is true diversity and inclusivity, in my opinion. I see. And you're able to do this because your peer review process is, is freed from the typical process of other journals? Exactly. So it uses review points to help incentivize and attract reviewers to leave more honest and reliable feedback, right? Yes. Well, doesn't that compromise the anonymity of the peer review process? Not at all. It is still a double-blind peer review process. The reviewer points are calculated in the back end, and only the aggregated points are revealed to the public. Okay, so no reviewer is publicly associated with any particular paper. Exactly. Well, I think paper score is going to revolutionize the research publishing industry. Uh, thank you. You are very kind, Madison. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. Thank you. And thank you for watching.